uh, it's not going to be a long message. I'm not a long speaker or preacher, but I do want to offer you words of encouragement on tonight. And so tonight we're going to talk briefly about the scripture that we that I just read, uh, the very first verse, which simply reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, as you all can see in the world today, that death and destruction has become, uh, it's become the normal. It, it's, we see it each and every day. It's like watching our favorite TV show every evening at 8 p.m. People uh, in the world have become numb to the, the situations and the plight of the world, so much so that they have adapted and adjusted, and they go on with their daily lives as if nothing is going on. Our young black men are like David these days. They're running for their lives, trying to escape the souls of this world who are trying to kill them on each and every hand. Now, in this psalm, David expressed his gratitude and his praise to God for God's power in his life, the power of love, the power of protection, the power of refuge, the power of guidance, and the power of favor. You see, David was on the run from Saul because Saul had attempted several times to kill him. Saul was jealous of David because David had gained favor uh, from the children of Israel because of his mighty and powerful warrior skills. David was known to have killed 10,000. Saul only a thousand, and it become it had become a, a popular thing throughout uh, the the countryside that people even sang songs about it. But it enraged Saul and made him jealous. He was jealous of David, not understanding that David was who he was because of God's hands on his life. And I want someone to understand on tonight that even in the midst of the trials, the tribulations, the death, the destructions, the darkness that has overtaken this world, God still has his hands on your life. God still has a purpose and a plan for you, just like he did David, even during this dark time. Understand that even now, our black men and women, our people, are being hunted down because the enemy is jealous. The enemy understands the power that we possess, the, the power to be, speak to a mountain and it be removed into the sea, the power to speak life over any situation, the power to simply walk into the midst of trials and tribulations and change the atmosphere. Now it is time for us as a people to understand that power and take hold of it and use that power to change not only our personal situations, but to change this land and country. We need to take a hold of that power and change the injustices that are going on. We need to take hold of that power and change the wrong to right. We can do that by simply being an example and standing up for what we know is right and simply giving God praise. I understand that you might say, how can praise change a situation? But understand that your praise is your weapon. Your praise can cause the atmosphere to change. Your praise can cause someone's mind to change. Your praise can simply uh, change your, your personal situation. It can cause you to think differently, to think positively, and, and anything that might be going on negatively in your life, you have the power to change that simply by giving God praise at all times. Again, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. He was literally commanding his flesh to give God praise despite his situation. David knew that he had the power to speak to himself, to speak to his spirit, and then to change what he was feeling or thinking and simply give God praise. David said, I'm going to bless him while I'm shepherding the sheep. I'm going to bless him while I'm taking lunch to my brothers. I'm going to bless him while I'm going up against a mighty giant. I'm going to bless him even when I'm in a cave. David said, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times and I won't allow anything to stop me. So even though we see death, even though we see destruction, even though we see social injustices, even though we see famine and disease coming up against us on every hand, we have to take the power that we possess 
to command our flesh and cause our spirit to position itself to open our mouths and to give God praise. We say it all the time. When praises go up, blessings come down. So even in a dark time like this, when you give God praise, he can still bless you. God has the power to do anything and everything except fail. And even in this moment, God's power is still working. He says, I reign over the just and the unjust. So even now, he still sits on the throne. His glory is still being revealed. Why? Because he still has power over everything and everyone. I just want on tonight to encourage somebody not to allow what you see to discourage you because there is a praise on the inside of you. And sometimes that praise can be uh, can be uh, de defeated and can make you feel defeated. But that's when you got to reach down into your spirit. That's when you got to meditate and grab a hold of the word of God. That's when you got to grab a hold of the power that God has placed in you through the Holy Spirit and say, I will bless God at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. When you're praising God continually, you can't speak negatively. When you're praising God continually, you can't think negatively. When you're praising God continually, you can't even feel negatively. When you're praising God continually, you can't do negative things because you're constantly giving God praise and thinking about how good God has been to you. The fact that he woke you up this morning, the fact that he started you on your daily life. He's the fact that he provided food for you and clothing for you and a roof over your head. Someone may even be going through a situation where you don't even know if you're going to get out of it, but God is already preparing your way of escape. And so even in that, you should bless the Lord even in that moment and offer him a praise. David blessed him so much so he said, I relied on you even when I was in your womb. It's in Psalm 71. Verse 6, he said, and I, and you allowed me to come out of my mother's womb, so I'm going to praise you even in that. David made it clear that no matter what the situation was, no matter the situation in his life, in every aspect of his life, he planned to give God praise. And he did so by even speaking it out of his mouth. He said, I'm going to make it my declaration to give God praise and to do it continually. And so when you focus on or think about continually, that means that in every moment, in every aspect, you can be riding in your car and you just think about it. Lord, I bless you. You can be uh, washing your hands in the bathroom. Lord, I just thank you. You can be walking in the grocery store. God, you're an awesome God and I just want to give you praise. You can be laying in your bed at night on the way to sleep and just say, Lord, hallelujah, you're worthy of the praise. And I, I don't know about you, but there have been many times when there were things going on in my life and I just gave God a radical outburst of praise and it changed the entire situation. So on tonight, I want to encourage somebody that when you're having a moment, when you're feeling defeated, when you're feeling down, when you're looking around you and seeing everything that's going on in this dark and destitute world, Think about David and the many trials and tribulations that he faced. And even when he was king, he still said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The Bible makes it clear when God said that in all things to give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning us. So even in this moment, it is God's will that we have pandemic. It is God's will that we have social injustice. Why? Because he still has a plan, and that plan is going to allow him to show up and for his glory to be revealed, and for his power to take control and make the change that we need. All we have to do is praise him even now in advance for what we know he's going to do. God has proven himself in the past. David was able to recall the various times God had saved him, protected him, led him, and guided him, and so we too can do the same. There may have been a day when you were sick and God healed your body, when you needed money to pay bills and God made a way when it seemed like there was no way, when you were having problems in your relationship and you didn't know if it was going to work or not and God brought you out of it and saved your relationship. Just think back, and my grandmother used to say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and when I look back over my life, David did the same thing, and I'm beseeching you on tonight to do just that.
think on the goodness of Jesus and look back over your life and think about all the many blessings God has bestowed upon you. All the times that he delivered you, restored you, that he put favor on your life and simply open your mouth and give God some praise. I don't know what anybody is going through on tonight. I don't know what you've gone through in your past life. I don't know what you may be facing, but what I do know is that when you give God praise, it changes the atmosphere. It changes your situation. It changes your mindset. And so on tonight, I'm encouraging, I'm admonishing, I am beseeching each and every individual on this line to simply open your mouth and give him praise. You don't have to be an expert at praise. You don't have to have a praise book. You don't have to have a particular praise song. You don't even have to be able to praise in key. All you have to do is open your mouth and shout unto God. Shabbat him. Give him the best praise from your belly and let him know how much you love him, how much he means to you, all the things that you appreciate. Just let him know how much you appreciate everything he's done for you. And I promise you, it will change your life. Listen, I'm, I'm again, I'm not going to be long because at the end of the day, God has shown his favor. He's shown his favor by allowing us to live even during this pandemic. There are those, unfortunately, that have lost their lives. There are those that have been sick that are fighting for their lives right now. There, the social injustices that we see each and every day is a reason for someone to want to give up. But I'm admonishing you. I'm encouraging you. I'm simply pleading with you that on today, you make it a point that each and every day when you wake up, each and every night before you go to bed, as you're going throughout your day, that you think on God and his goodness. And simply the fact that he's king of kings and lord of lords, he still rules and reigns on the throne. And open your mouth and give him a praise. I promise you, if you do that, you will see a change in your situation. You will see a change in how you feel. You will see a change in how in your outlook as you're going forward. I know that there are things happening that we cannot control. I know that there are things happening that may have us uh, uh, in fear. But God said in his word that he didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Again, there's that word power. We have power. Use that power to command your flesh to give God praise. And in this moment, use that power to be the best Christian, the best believer, the best example of God that you can be. Because in this moment, our people, the powerful people of God, this is our time to show up and to take control, to harness that power, and to make a change. St. Peter, I love you. This has been an awesome uh, moment that to share this with you, and I hope that someone is blessed. I hope that someone is encouraged, and I hope that this changes someone's situation in the days, weeks, and years to come. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you tonight, God. We're giving you glory, giving you honor, and, God, we're giving you praise. We have decided that we will be like David. We will bless the Lord at all times, and your praise shall continually be in our mouth. God, we're not going to allow our situation. We're not going to allow things that we cannot control. We're not going to allow any external forces nor our own individual situations to keep us from giving you the praise that you deserve. God, we ask on tonight that you continue to guide us, lead us, order our steps in your word, protect us, watch over, and keep us. And God, we just thank you, honor you, lift up your name, and we worship you for the God that you are. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory, we plead the blood, and we call it done. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you all for joining us tonight.